Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building a closet in this room right here. Now our house was built in the 60s and because of that it was not built with any closets in the bedrooms and hardly any storage closets throughout the house. So I'm going to be building one of these. If you stick around I'll show you guys how to do this from start to finish. Now this style of closet is probably one of the simplest ways to add on a closet into a room, especially with smaller rooms like this. You don't want to take up a ton of space. So I'm building what I, I would call, I guess, a bump out closet or pop out closet. It's just taking a chunk out of the room and turning it into a closet. Now I've already posted a video on how to build a pantry for a kitchen. Now that was a little bit different situation. Our house actually ended up having a small section that wasn't being utilized. I noticed that we were missing space in our floor and I opened it up and there was a two foot by three foot section that was closed off and maybe they planned on making it a closet at one point and forgot. So I ended up turning that into a closet. That doesn't happen very often, finding wasted space in your house. But if you do, you could do something similar to that so go check out that video after this one I'm framing this up with two by threes today. This is a smaller room. So with small rooms like this, every inch counts. And I didn't want to use the two by fours just because the two by threes, pretty much the same amount of strength, but it will give me back one extra inch that the wall would normally take up. This is not load bearing. It's not supporting anything. It's just going to be an add on into the room. It's going to be mounted to the walls and to the ceiling but it's not supporting anything. So two by threes are plenty strong enough to do what I need right here. If you're working on older houses like this one built in the 60s, you may find that pretty much nothing is plumb, level, square, everything's off just a little bit. So you don't wanna just follow blindly what the floor is doing, the ceiling, the walls. You'll wanna double check this as you're going with the level and make sure everything's square and plumb where it needs to be because that's gonna make hanging the door once you're all finished, putting the sheetrock on and putting the trim up, it's gonna make all of that so much easier if everything is square and level. So I'm gonna be doing that as I go along. You'll notice I'll pull out the level every once in a while and double check as I'm working. As I mentioned, this is not load bearing, it's not supporting any weight, so this is not how you would frame up a doorway that is actually supporting weight. If you're doing that, you're going to need a header to go up over the door. This is pretty much cosmetic only. It's just going to be holding up the sheetrock, framing that in, keeping it sturdy with just the weight of the sheetrock. I'm done with the framing. I'm going to quickly throw up the drywall and then I'm going to need to do two coats of spackle, lightly sand, and then I'll get to painting that afterwards. So stick around. I'll speed through this really quick and show you guys the process.
I'm going to be adding the trim to this before we paint. This is because we chose to have the same color on our trim as we do the walls. It makes it really easy to cut in and paint the walls when you're painting the trim at the same time. And we really like the bright white and it makes the house feel a lot brighter as well. So this is definitely a stylistic choice. If you want to paint the trim a different color than the walls, you may want to wait to put the trim up till once you have this all painted. But either way, should be fine. For the trim on this, I'm going to be using solid pine boards that are pre-primed. And these are solid wood, so they hold up a lot better. I wouldn't recommend using the trim pieces that are particle board or sort of a cardboard. They don't have nearly as much strength. They can easily break or chip off. If they absorb any water, they're going to swell it and fall apart. So I would recommend if you want something that's going to last a long time and look great, use the prime solid wood instead of that particle board. Now for the door, I'm going to be using a bifold door, sort of hangs on a track and closes up. Up against the wall takes up very little space. This makes the closet the most useful. You can easily open it up, see everything you've got in there, everything's accessible, and you don't have anything trapped in your closet that you can't reach. For anything that you're hanging up in the closet, the rod, any shelving, if you're screwing into the sheetrock, you need to have plastic dowels. The screws will not hold into the sheetrock and chances are there's not a stud where you need it to be. So you definitely get some of these plastic dowels. I really like the self-tapping ones. They screw in by themselves into the sheetrock and then you just put the screw right into that plastic hole that it's got. Now this holds up to 79 pounds each plastic screw that I'm putting in. So that's plenty of weight. There's three screws on each side of the rod and then three or four screws on each of these brackets for the shelf. So that's way overkill for what I need, but at least I know it's gonna hold and I'm never gonna have any issues with it. Alright guys, that just about finishes up the video for today. I hope this one was helpful for you. If it was, try to return the favor and help me out by hitting that like button down below and leaving a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for any future builds, let me know as well in the comment section. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys think. Now I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys really are amazing. I can't believe that there are people out there that care enough about the content and the channel to help support it and help me create more videos like this one. I'm going to be building three more closets in the next couple months. One linen closet in our hallway, two more bedroom closets, and they're going to be a lot more extensive than this one here. So if you're interested in those, if they've been posted, they're right here at the end of this video. Click on those and go check them out. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.